Hey, what hood you from, little bruh? This my shit over here. I'm pookie, bitch. I'm gonna need you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I'm from Kilpatrick Funeral Home in Washita Parish. That's my hood. The most generous hood in the world. Look how quick we gave your ass a tombstone. I mean, a happy rock. What you say your name was? Pookie. Hey, Pookie. Tell me how that dookie feel on your booty when your ass contract from fucking death. Oh, I was just trying to walk home and get to the crib. But you want to die for a fucking toe up ass block. Oh, my life, my hood gonna veg me. Well, there's two things wrong with that shit, Pook. One, they ain't got long, bitch, because your life leaving. Two, ain't shit holding you down but some fucking dirt when they put your ass in that pit. And now time for the lightning round. Three, tell the hood, come get your fucking spirit before that bitch make it to hell. But you could have been ULM's biggest football player. Now you're going to be their biggest members. I ain't come out here wanting to put your ass on the whole list, but you did. After all the shit you could have put your mind to in Monroe, Louisiana, you want to put that bitch in the trash can. Because that's where that bitch going after your autopsy. You got them Instagram captions, bitch. You trying to make me out to be a bitch? <laughs> No, I'm just a body. Is you gonna ever learn to handle your problems with talking instead of violence? Oh shit, no. Don't look like it today. But well, you get to learn how to be a souvenir today then since you don't wanna learn shit. Why fuck with me, homie? I don't make people out to be bitches or nothing. I just put them in fucking dress clothes and boxes. What you thought you was getting? A fair one. You get one bullet. That's all I can give you. Them bitches, then they all fell. They go straight ahead and they don't turn or nothing. That bitch might even ricochet and hit your ass in the back of the head. Who knows? I bet your mama loved her son. She gonna love his spray painted Air Force Ones with his name on them bitches. So you woke up this morning and was like, shit, I just wanna bleed the fuck out in 32 degree weather on wet concrete. Well, lucky for you, bitch, I'm all for the people. God damn it, they got coffins with heaters in them bitches. That's gonna do you good for the winter. Matter of fact, they do make bunk bed coffins. My family gonna slide for me. And I'm gonna drop a hundred on their ass. Drop their ass in some rectangles. Drop them bitches in the ground. It's shit, some shit gonna fall today. I'm pregnant with your baby. <gasps> You wanna know if it's a boy or a girl? Yeah, it's aborted. Cause I ain't ready to be no mama. <sighs> what? I'm not ready to do this. And it's my body, goddammit. <laughs> you wanna go talk to me? I ain't gotta talk to you about my body. Meanwhile, somewhere in the world. Hey, I'm pregnant with your baby. What you gonna do? I'm gonna be a deadbeat daddy. Yep. You're not gonna take care of your kid? I'm not ready to be a father. But you was ready to put the stick in and you was ready to let me. That was a mutual little agreement. But you ready to have it and I don't want that. What type of shit is this? Real shit. You can't do me later. <laughs> you can't do this. If I can't make you have or kill that motherfucker, you can't make me stay here or leave, bitch. 600 on bench press. That's my max, motherfucker. You gotta see me. I'm gonna see your bitch ass in hell. You better move. What if I don't do it, pussy? You gonna die right there. Right there. You see it? See that? Right there. You gonna die right there. I'm trying to tell you right there, bitch. That's supposed to be a threat or some shit. This is a guarantee. Oh my fucking kids, this is a soul back guarantee, bitch. If you survive this, you get your soul back. No questions asked. Because I got a fucking nine that say otherwise. Oh, you a bitch. It can't just fight like a man, huh? Hell no. <laughs> Spent too much money for that. I'm a whole hoe out here. Show sure live. Oh, nigga, I'm tired of you talking. Let me stop them ears from working. <laughs> just couldn't help it, huh? I had to get you some of that rigor mortis. Said you could bench how much? Push that box lid open when they put the dirt on that motherfucker. Since you so good at lifting shit, lift your ass up off the ground. To lift some life back into you. Tough as nails, and I love it. Cause these bitches go through metal too. I'm six foot five, benching 800 pounds. What's up, little motherfucker? Hey, buddy, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, you're gonna be taller on your back. Think I'm scared of you or something? Think I won't collapse one of your fucking lungs or something? Only pussy's scared to throw hands. You know, would you rather be a dead man or a living bitch? I like one of them. You've been disrespecting the military. They fighting for your freedom. And you gonna be fighting for your fucking life. You not hearing this? They fighting because a motherfucker told them the ends justify the means. You kill enough people so you don't gotta kill people. And we good people. My daddy was a veteran. Say that shit again. Bitch, if you thought you was gonna talk like that to me and he was gonna get you some respect, fuck your daddy. I will put you on a flag for just for him. You say you six foot five, bitch, we'll get you some socks that say six foot five on each leg. You talking too much for me. Let's stop talking. <laughs> I must not be the only thing you sick of. You sick of living too, huh? Hashtags. 
Hey, everybody want to be one. You could have died like your daddy for some make up shit, but you wanted to die in the hood. I'm make sure your kids get a pair of them socks. Yeah, I'm 6'5". Yeah, I'm bitching 900. What's up, bitch? <laughs> and yeah, you a pack. Bitch, you could have been whatever you wanted to be. A shirt? But we can get a cardboard cut out of you on a motorcycle. How That's going to be hard at the service, ain't it? You must like Super Gremlin by Kodak. We could have been taking care of our kids, but now you on a hoodie, bitch. What is that dude's finna do? Hit a lick? Lick the roof of that coffin, bitch. Your mom and dad would be proud to know they gave birth to some custom wristbands. Isaiah. I can see it now. They didn't stop making guns when they made yours. Bitch, they didn't stop making t-shirts either. They ain't stop making coffins, fucking suits, tractors. Dirt. Guess what they did stop making today? Your life. I ain't even that type of fucking person. You could have fought me like a man. Like a man. You right. I could have fought your ass like a man. But I popped your ass like a bump. You could have went home. Oh my god, bitch. They can 3D print your ass a rectangle to go in. 2022 already the shit. I'm gonna make sure your kids know they daddy went out like a G. And the G stand for going. You shot my daughter, bitch. <laughs> you not the only one with a stick, bitch. Remember that hoe? Yeah, that tickled you, ugly motherfucker. Try that shit again, pussy. I said, try that shit again, you bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What the fuck you is? I'm your fucking sponsor for tenant funeral service. Y'all think I'm the bad guy? Cause I'm stacking them bitches up like dollars? Yeah, bitch. Your daughter is a fucking apparition. Not cause I hate bitches. Cause I do Because she ran the fuck up What I'm supposed to do Wait to see what she gonna do Fuck that Cause I'ma put a bitch in VIP And hey, you can go fuck with her You see that little cub Yeah I hate to be big homie over there Ain't that right How little cub got more sense than you He foraging for food You gasping for help A pair of socks They gonna make you remember your ass Gonna be magnificent The left one gonna say 40 The right one gonna say 5 Cause that's what you like 45 is a pair I'm gonna come back And I got a necromancer for your bitch ass too I'ma bind your ass to a fucking frog And a whole kiss ain't gonna help Michael, what the fuck was you doing in the girl's bathroom? Trying to strangle the fuck out of one of them bitches. Have you smelled that shit? Smelt what, Mike? Shit, everything. The pussy, the bathroom, the hall. Bitch got so many opinions, but the damn cut smell like Bluetooth headphone end parts and shit. Mike, that ain't no reason to go in there and do that shit, though. You know how many times these bitches call me a fucking rodent every day? And then I gotta walk by this motherfucker knowing y'all ain't washing your ass. And just be all right with it. Because they bitches. It's ways to handle this type of shit, though. The key word, ways. And I found one. Choke the shit out of motherfuckers. Blood all in the goddamn toilet. And you ain't flushing. The bitch got the nerve to have standards. But you making personal beef jerky in the fucking come on. Because you could have just went hollered at the goddamn janitor. What the fuck? I did not think of that. See? It's so many ways you can do this. I gotta go pop that bitch up, cause where the fuck was you when the pee in the toilet was dark for four days? Michael, how come every girl you hang with can't remember the night before? Cause I be busting on them bitches when they blacked out. You don't think you should, like, ask for permission? If you was a girl, what would you say if a stranger walked up to you and said, Hey, I'ma slip you something and then bust all on your shit? I would call the fucking cops. Now you know I ain't going to jail. I put a police the fuck up. How about you just find you a freak bitch? Ain't many people that like light bulbs crushed in their ass. <laughs> just answer one question for me, bro. What is it? Which one of them bitches told you what I was doing? I promise I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't believe you. You either gonna believe me or you gonna be the one getting bust on. Hey, hold, hold the fuck up. The only thing I'm holding is a bitch hostage or your ass. What the fuck they got into you up there at that school? A bitch ain't never finna play with me like that. You hit that girl in the mouth with a fucking air conditioner. I bet that hoe will keep the size of my shit out her fucking mouth. Tell her some good, I heard that bitch will live. Bro, every time you get some ass and the girl clown you, you can't knock her fucking teeth out. The, the, the hell of this shit. I bet the bitch won't say nothing little now. That cause ain't shit small, but her chance of living. You know, Samantha got a daddy, right? He must have something to say. I don't think so, but bro, you gotta act better than this. You right. I'm gonna run the next bitch over. <laughs> bro, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. But whips do, though. Whips do. Whips run over hoes and whips hurt bitches and makes motherfuckers stop moving. Mike, relax. You're not finna clown me about what the fuck the <laughs> about what the fuck the Lord gave me. I'ma send you to him. Facts. <laughs>
Hey, bro, your grandma was so nice. I went to visit her at the nursing home today. Damn, bro, for real, what y'all, what you and grandma do today? We fucked. She got cancer. Well, I got it too. Can you get that through Coochie? You ain't, you ain't do that to my grandma. Hell no, I didn't. I did that shit to Thelma. She ain't need chemo. I snatched that bitch hair out with my fingers. Why you, why you need to tell me this? Oh, and I almost forgot. I busted in there, so I think she got pregnant. But luckily, I fixed the shit, because I unplugged. Bitch, she, she can't get pregnant. She 87 years old. I panicked and then unplugged the bitch out the wall. And then she was beeping, and she had stopped beeping. What you say? She couldn't, oh shit. You did what? Nothing. Bro, I be imagining your sister when I be in class. What the fuck you be thinking about, bro? Making her smell the back of my nest. Why are we talking about this? Because I just can't get her out of my head. My sister? Your sister, bro. I always want to cook for her. Bro, you could always go cook a meal for her. shit. Like, I'm not stopping you from cooking for my sister. But I'm just not sure that you're going to like what I want to make her. Because I know what I just said was kind of crazy. Bro, I know you be not all together sometimes. Well, what you want to cook for my sister? My meat? Oh, you must got some ribs or something you want to throw in the grill. I'm talking about my dad. Oh my god. Stay away from my fucking sister. Alright, bro, I understand. Can I cook for you? Bitch, I'll kill you. I'm gonna just make you some lemonade, bro. Damn. Okay. Okay, okay. After I pee in that shit. Oh my god. I know I cussed you the fuck out. You gonna talk back to me, though? <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Fuck leading by example. I'm the parent. Depression come from that damn cell phone. If you did the dishes, bitch, you couldn't anxiety. Let me slap you in your motherfucking mouth for being a kid. Would you ever point out when I'm being a fucking hypocrite? You need to stay in a child's place. I'm trying to raise you to grow up to do all the shit that I don't do today. Why the fuck is that so hard? You wouldn't be getting bullied if you would just go do them dishes. What the fuck make you think life is just peaches and rainbows if you put your mind to it? You need to let me teach you how to worry and fucking stress about shit. Ain't no mental health in them dishes if you just go do them dishes. I brought you in this world and I could kill you because I'm your parent. Talking back will make me kill you. I know you 15, but if you steal my car, I'm going to assault your ass like you ain't even my fucking kid. Being sad is impossible when you do them damn dishes. You supposed to be a man. Bitch, men don't got feelings. Stop crying. That's pussy shit. Oh, you like flowers and plants and stuff? You sure you ain't sweet, boy? Son, being a real man is more fucking important than living a joyful life. You better uphold them traditions. Yeah, come on, I'm finna make you a real man. I'm finna beat, I'm finna beat your ass up like I ain't never seen you in my life and you just robbed me. Come on, this is finna teach you discipline. I know I black both your motherfucking eyes and swole the back of your head, but when I get sick though, you supposed to take care of me when I get old, cause that's an even trade now, cause I wasn't supposed to raise you. Respect is worth dying for. Throw your fucking life away and leave your kids behind, son. It'll mean the most when you in a box. What the fuck you depression for? You got a roof over your head. What the fuck you anxiety for? You got dishes to do. <laughs> hey, daddy, my mental health ain't good. You a kid. Kids ain't got no mental health. What? Mental health them dishes in there so you can feel better. You know, I was thinking that. What you thinking for? You ain't got nothing to do but go to school. You ain't got no bills. Why are you thinking? My head hurt. A man head ain't supposed to hurt. You and mama never taught me how to control my thoughts and imagination. I think I got anxiety and I'm fucked up on the inside. You better go anxiety that bedroom. That ain't gonna get you out of cleaning. I'm finna choke the dog. <coughs> the dog did. Why you never said you needed help? I need help. My mental health done spoiled, daddy. I already told you kids ain't got no mental health. Stop that shit. We did the best we could raising you. But your best wasn't enough. <sighs> I got my ass whooped with everything but a belt. You was a bad kid. Bad kids get whoopers. I got my ass whooped when my cousins fucked shit up and I was just around. You probably did something. Shit. I was depressed. Slicing my shit up. Depression don't even run in the family. I'm 45 and I'm just now learning how to fucking control thoughts and emotions. If you would have kept your head out that cell phone, you would have been good. 
Did you ever do anything wrong? Yeah, I, every parent mess up sometimes. What you fuck up on? I ain't whoop your ass enough. Y'all ain't ever do shit for me. You had a roof over your head. You had clothes. You had water. That's what the fuck you supposed to do. I wasn't supposed to do shit. So why you do it? Because you wanted something in return? Because that's what a parent's supposed to do. <laughs> you gonna take care of us when we get old? I'm gonna put you in a wheelchair and push you off the fucking roof. We did the best we could raising you. Bitch, y'all beat my ass, broke my fucking arm, blamed my sister dying on me. And when I said I wanted to off my fucking self, you know what you said? I don't remember all that. I'm gonna tell you what you said. If you really wanted to off yourself, you would have been dated. So I'm a bad parent now. You ain't got nothing to say? You're horrible. If this is what your best look like, you need to, you should have been benched. I know a lot of young folks that'll take a motherfucker out to have parents like us, and you just ungrateful. Shit, I do too. Too bad the motherfucker they take it out as they damn self. Me and your daddy never had self-harm. What the fuck wrong with you? Let me go wash these dishes so I can be happy. Ooh, I'm tripping. We did the best we could. It is not our fault you were slicing up your damn arm for attention. You know you going to a nursing home, right? But we still your parents, though. I'm going to do my best to make sure y'all don't end up in shady fucking branches. But you going to make it, goddammit. Hey, parent, I think I got anxiety. You can go anxiety at homework. Ain't nothing wrong with you. The kids at school is bullying me. Don't listen to that shit. And you'll be all right. Okay. And what the fuck you stressing about? You a kid with no responsibilities. Every time something get on your nerves, you get to yelling and cussing and spitting. Well, that's somehow your fucking fault. You ain't doing something, I'm telling you, somehow. Bitch. I'm getting bullied at school, too. If you was paying attention in class, you wouldn't be getting bullied. I don't never get to be with my friends. You a kid. What kind of kid need friends? You don't need no damn friends. That shit sounds stupid. I ain't had no friends when I was little, and I turned out fine. This is what you call fine. Ain't no such thing as anxiety. Ain't nothing wrong with your damn mental. You had a perfectly fine brain when you was born. Swear to God I did. I swear, I wonder how that got fucked up. Y'all that damn snapbook, Graham. You blacked both my fucking eyes for sneaking out the house. You shouldn't have snuck out the house. I said all that shit and that's all you heard. Hey mama, I'm depressed. Just be happy. Okay, I'm finna try that. I'm still depressed. Yeah. what I do, mama? Stop making shit up. I ain't never been saying. But I said I was depressed though. Okay. Just go feel better. Huh? That's all that damn cell phone and Twittergram you be on. I think I'm gonna go pop myself. Well, go do it then. I pop myself. <gasps> I wonder why he never told us something was wrong with him. Hey, mama, I'm back from the ether. My baby, I can live forever, mama, but I still got depression. That shit ain't real. Mama, why you wanna kill me? Don't nobody wanna kill you, son. I love you. I brought you in this world, I take you out. What the fuck that mean? <laughs> just cool with telling your kids you're gonna kill them for nothing what you mean for nothing you ain't you not gonna disrespect me and i know that but i can't have you hurting my fucking ego shit because i'm the parent what you gonna tell him in court he, he talked talk to me left ways and i just i destroyed him son i'm gonna always love you me and your mama i just ain't gonna act like it you know i ain't gonna let you take me off this fucking planet right Is that a threat Bitch, that's a promise. I ain't never wanted but for a motherfucker to treat me like a person. We can do this shit however you want to. Mm, where you got that shit from? I did not raise you like this. So who the fuck raised me then, Chris? A pack of fucking beavers or something? You know, everything a kid learns start at home, right? I think you was just born with a demon in you. <laughs> God don't like disrespectful kids. So he must murder disrespectful grown people then, huh? What, what that supposed to mean? You talk about what the fuck God like a lot. Like you ain't doing the shit. You shortening your days by disrespecting your parents. You know that, right? And you must be negative past the fuck away for treating your damn kid like hired labor. I brought you in this world. I could take you out. Oh, God, fuck with that type of shit, though, huh? Yeah. All right, Jesus. <laughs> shit, the Lord must have had a lot to say about hitting me in the back with a fucking hammer because I rolled my eyes. But, you know, spare the rod, spoil the child. Am I right? May God have mercy on your side. If I'm going to fucking hell, you flying to that bitch on a private. Yeah. Oh, God, we is in our last days the way you kids talk to your parents. Shit, we must have had to be in our last days for a minute the way y'all been busting us the fuck up. You need Jesus, and you need to be in fucking prison. 
Baby mama getting old. They trying to put me in a nursing home. You got the stuff pack? What? You got the stuff pack? We gotta get you there soon so they can so they can get you taken care of. You're not gonna take care of me? Am I gonna take care of the motherfucker that used to knock holes in my damn skull? Uh-uh. I did the best I could for you. And it's the best I could do. I just don't know another way. You going to Shady Limbs tonight, goddammit. <laughs> don't worry, I checked on it. I made sure it's a nice retirement home, you know what I'm saying? They don't they only beat like 10 old folks a week. What the fuck? But don't worry, mama. That's just discipline. They just disciplining you. They trying to, you know, authority. If you do be like this, you ain't no better than I was. See, that's where you wrong. I'm fucking worse than you. May God have mercy on your soul, baby. Yeah. He gonna have to have it on you first, bitch. Cause they gonna club your ass up there. You got all my medicine? I got some of it. I did the best I could looking for it. You know what the fuck I mean. Son, don't let them put me in the nursing home. They sit in the bus today. Shit, what time you gotta be at the bus stop? Make sure you got your breathing machine. <laughs> Come on, mama, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, Shadow Valley got a bingo table with your name on it. You not gonna take care of your mama, I took care of you. Take care of you. You black both my fucking eyes for disagreeing with you. Bitch, the only place I'm taking you is to the train station. Get ready. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still your mama. Oh, so I'm the world's worst son, huh? I'm providing you with food, shelter, water, bingo, everything you need. And it's the thanks I get. Only three old folks die a month up there. You'll be fine. Don't do me like this, baby, please. <laughs> please. Mama, it ain't no rule book on how to take care of an old parent. I'm doing the best I can. Why you can't see that, bitch? Well, your best ain't enough. Well, it's gonna have to be in, goddammit. They gonna beat me up there. Yeah. Well, you know that's how you teach somebody how to follow the rules. Baby, you know you can talk to us about anything. We your parents. Well, mama, you be cussing a lot and you be calling me bitches and hoes and yelling at me and that be hurting my feelings. <laughs> what about the way I feel when you don't do them damn dishes? Oh, you always gotta make this shit about you. How you gonna have something to say about the way somebody talking to you and you don't even clean the fuck up? You don't do the dishes. I thought you taught me life was about what you do as an individual. No matter what the world do. What the fuck I gotta change for you to change? And why I gotta change for you to change? I don't know, cause maybe if everybody in the world acted like that, wouldn't shit ever get done. Thank God for the motherfuckers that just be better on their own. So I'm a bad parent now? You ain't got no fucking bills. <laughs> hey, mama, that man look like Denzel Washington over there. You gonna make me hit you on your motherfucking lip. Stop embarrassing me in this damn store, you ugly bitch. I ain't know you was gonna be a hoe about it. I was just making an observation. That's what children do when you're full of life. <laughs> I guess you got all the answers, huh? You just got life figured all the way out, huh? <laughs> No, but bitch, that was a lot for just a little observation. If you did the dishes, you wouldn't have time to talk back like you do to me. <laughs> I bet your friends don't talk to their parents like this. Nah, bitch, you right. Because unfortunately, their parents is capable of putting their kids in the ER behind disrespect. And, you know, we just don't want to die because your parents can, our parents can kill us, unfortunately. Well, y'all shouldn't talk the fuck back. <laughs> Bitch, you just told me you would hit me in my fucking lip for being excited to see some shit. Hey, mama, can you buy this for me? I really like this in the store. Keep asking me for shit, and I'm gonna knock your ass the fuck out in this store. You so fucking evil. Bitch, that's, that's what you do to me because I want something? We ain't got no money for that. We broke as fuck. You need to know and feel like you broke as fuck. You couldn't have just said... One day you can buy it yourself, son. Mama just ain't got it right now. That that's that was too much. Oh, so I'm a I'm a bad parent again today, huh? Bitch, you the worst. You fucking horrible. I, I hate your ass. Who taught you how to handle shit that you didn't like in the world like this? I didn't raise you like this. Couldn't have been the motherfucker that raised me. That bitch, that just sounds too incriminating. Shit. Ugh. Do you even know how to be respectful? Bitch, I can't remember shit from when fucking Sid the Science Kid came out. To the goddamn coca melon and coronavirus. <laughs> Fine dining and breathing type shit. But at least I know how to work hard. Ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> what you thought?
think it's more ways you could have communicated with me without cussing me the fuck out of calling me bitch? Yeah. I did everything. You you had a roof over your head. What about emotional stability and how to control my thoughts and emotions? You ain't teach me that shit. You just hit me with <laughs> This the thanks I get for making me emotionally unfucking stable and due to the laws of accountability and responsibility, I'm the only one that can and got to fix the shit. You damn right. <laughs> you ain't got no bills. That was the out the fucking mod around this bitch. But you did not have no bills. When you get old, I'ma unplug you, bitch. And that's the shit I'm talking about. You so disrespectful. Who? Don't nobody talk to their fucking mama like that but you. Is this the thanks I get for cleaning my room up and doing the dishes and not murdering your ass when you treated me like a bitch? That's what a child's supposed to do. Oh, and the parent ain't supposed to treat their child like a human. You're supposed to be the authority. <laughs> well, if you don't like it, then you could have lived. Oh, that's so fucking American of you, you bitch. Mama, I cleaned the house up today. Look, that's what the fuck you supposed to do. You want a prize for that? Nah, bitch, I just wanted to show you I cleaned the house up. Oh, so you want to just do good today? Do this every day. <laughs> bitch, I got to start today or at some point. Why oh, you didn't start last week? I could have started next month, bitch. You know that. Is that a threat? <laughs> bitch, now you want to fight. I can't win with you. So why you competing with me? D bitch. Bitch. I'm not. I cleaned the fucking house up. And I just wanted to show you... Did I clear this motherfucker up? Never met a child this disrespectful to their parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better control that shit. I'm the fucking authority. Girl, I swear on my life, your motherfucking health better not ever decrease. Because fucking with me, you going to goddamn sunny pines. What that supposed to mean? Get ill if you want to. Motherfucker, try me. Get sick, goddammit. You gonna find out. Clean this goddamn room up, you nasty motherfucker. Bro, you just gonna let her talk to you like that? I mean, yeah. She's in pain, bro. That's the only reason she doing it. I don't give a fuck. That shit ain't okay. You don't need, you need to stand up for yourself. And do what about it? Man, leave. Move out. Turn your back on that bitch. Walk the fuck away. Cuss her at something. I mean, bro, it's self-evident that she has unhealed wounds inside that she hasn't even recognized herself yet. So, so you're just gonna let her disrespect you? I mean, disrespect only exists in the mind if I choose to make it that. But since it's clear that she's a victim of things that she hasn't even considered yet, and you obviously look at me as being a victim of her actions, why would I embrace the identity of being a victim myself knowing that I don't like this shit and go harm someone who I have understood as a victim themselves, whether they know it or not. And guess what? Even if it helps me not feel like a victim, it's not going to help her get any more close to freeing herself from herself. You know you can't change people, right? Yeah, I can't change people, but I can control what this one does. <laughs> so what you going to do? I'm going to keep my mind focused and execute my plan so that I can move out and continue to live my life. And I'm going to always keep a hand extended to her in case she ever decides to heal. She may take it and she may not, but at least I'll live my life and die knowing that I was the type of person that I wanted to be. Regardless of how others or the world was to me. Damn. Yeah, fuck my parents. Them bitches hurt me when they were supposed to love me. Don't be like that, bro. Why not? The shit they did to me made me end up fucking my relationship up with my kids, and I'm just now fixing the shit. And the shit that your grandparents did to them as a kid made them fuck up their relationship with their kids. You. But that's different. They could have changed early. Did you change before you realized you was treating your kids the way they treated you? I guess not. A slave that's known nothing but how to be a slave his entire life must learn to be free. Just as a parent that's known nothing but toxic parents in their whole life must learn to be a new parent. I understand, but they don't want to learn. And that's none of your business. But now knowing that they faced and failed the same things that they put you through, what will you do with that wisdom? It's sad. They, they shouldn't have had to go through that shit, but... But fuck, man, they did it to me. And doing more of it to them isn't going to help you, your children, or them. <laughs> so I'm just supposed to be okay with it. You aren't supposed to do anything. But in order to heal, there must be different decisions made. Wisdom, clarity, understanding, and love without expectations or conditions. What the fuck? Dad. Mama, can I talk to you about something? You ain't got no bills. You don't want to know what I need, want to talk about? It don't matter. You ought to be happy. You ain't got no bills. I feel like don't nobody want me in the house. <laughs> The fuck you feeling like that for? You ain't got no bills. This bills ain't the only thing making motherfucker not want to be here. Oh, you must got a mortgage. <laughs> I don't like the way you treat me. Oh, you don't like the way that you always calling me when you need some shit. You don't like the way you ain't got no bills. No, I don't like the way you don't give a fuck about how I feel. What about my feelings? 
What about me? What about how I feel? Bitch, this is not about you. Yeah, like just like it's always about you, huh? The very next day. What's your problem? You act like you don't want to talk to us. I don't. I wish your fucking face would disappear. I ain't never seen somebody so ungrateful. Bitch, ungrateful for what? Getting cussed the fuck out? Getting beat the fuck up? You know what, thank you so much for talking to me like I'm a piece of shit, mama. I could have ended up like a happy person if you wouldn't have did that. And we don't want that shit. Why you beat me when I was a kid? Because you was a badass kid. What I used to do? Being all loud and shit. You broke some stuff. You fucked stuff up. Being a child. You stole my car one night. And when I came home, you beat my ass with your fucking fist. Like you ain't know me. You shouldn't have stole the car. <laughs> Why we talking about this? You turned out perfectly normal. Yeah, my patience ain't longer than a fucking plank length. I just realized my kids can't even be kids without me losing my fucking shit. And I got PTSD. -D. You was just born fucked up. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I did the best I could. But yeah, I'm fine. I'm perfect. I'm so human. This is the best way. I want a bunch of humans like this in the world. What you want from me? An apology? I ain't do nothing wrong to you. So me having to go to school and lie about where the fuck the scars and shit came from. That's normal. I don't remember all that. So how you know I was a bad kid? I remember that shit. But you know I love you, though. Bitch, die. Y'all generation all fucked up. We do the same stuff y'all do. Now y'all like is doing ass and shaking drugs. Didn't y'all do powder? Yeah. But this generation is working on themselves. We the first ones to start thinking freely. Y'all going to hell. That's the only thing that's happening. Hell ain't real. See what I mean? How you know hell real? Cause your grandma told me when she raised me. All right. Just listen to your rappers. You hear this Cardi B? I'ma pop that monkey and I'ma slide that bitch down they face and ooh, then I'ma rob his ass. Then I'ma rob his ass. Then I'ma rob his ass. Then I'ma pop that monkey. You hear that shit? Why is little kids listening to that? Cause y'all too lazy to censor what the fuck your kids listen to. Well, the internet make that impossible. Every time I give you an answer, you gonna blame it on somebody else? We the first generation to say we fucked up on the inside instead of just calling it gas. And my generation was smarter. So how come I grew up poor as fuck? <gasps> hey mama, why you don't never try to be my friend? Cause I'm supposed to be your parent, not your fucking friend. You can't do both? Nah, cause being a parent requires trust, boundaries, respect, and you need to be able to listen to me sometimes. That sound like the same stuff friends do. Yeah. Just seems like a lot of shit would have been better. If your parent was your best friend, well, I wasn't going to be your friend. I had to be your authority. For real? Yep. Yeah. That's how your grandparents raised me. And so I'm going to do it to you. Even though I hated everything they did. <laughs> I need respect for my child. Not a friendship. You and your friends don't give each other respect. I ain't got no friends. I don't need them. I'm doing good. All right. What you want from me? You don't think you could have been a better parent? Ain't no instructions on how to raise a kid. I did my best. If it ain't no instructions, how the fuck you know you did your best? <laughs> you remember that time you tied me to a chair and whooped my ass with your fucking fist? No, I don't remember all that. I know you broke a plate, though. So you remember what I did, but you don't remember what you did after? I know you was a bad apple. That's all I know. What about that time you took an extension cord? and stripped that bitch to the wires and beat the shit out of me. I just gave you a whooping that day. That was the day you was fighting at school. I don't remember all that. <laughs> You're not gonna make me look like a bad parent. You're not finna do that. <gasps> I can't do that. You already did that. You got everything that you deserved. So I deserve two black eyes because I talked back. You shouldn't have been talking back. Alright, I made sure you had water, light, shelter, and clothes. Bitch, I get it. You don't think you shouldn't have been punching your fucking kids in the eye? <laughs> Why you can't never remember all the fucked up shit you did as a parent? Because I ain't do nothing. <laughs> when I punched your ass in the back of your head with a fist that had a ring on it and gashed your shit, I was teaching you responsibility. What about when you broke my arm for talking back? I remember that. I was probably trying to show you discipline. What about the time I couldn't go to school because I had all them fucking bruises on me? I never beat you out of anger. It was out of love. Well, tie me up and let a pickle nut on me. I ain't never seen a motherfucker that could be violent and not be mad. <laughs> you know the examples I had of the best communication skills a child could ever have? 
spitting and cussing. Well, I was irritated. Your fuck inner control and strength and wisdom and all that. Good job. Well, if I was such a bad parent, why you, why you ain't leave? That's all you get from that? Yeah. yeah, you know, cause throwing shit at a motherfucker is how you teach a child how to control they self on the inside. Well, you was the one talking about you was depressed. We ain't never had a depressed family member. Ooh, shit. That just mean I was lying. When I get old, you gonna help? I'm gonna drive by a nursing home doing a hundred and push your ass out the fucking door. Look how your friends talk to their parents. Why you don't respect me like this? You know, I probably should. But bitch, it's hard to respect the motherfucker that talk to you like you a hoe. You hear how Lewis talk to his people? Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't get that. For one, he fucking hate them. That wasn't a question. <laughs> All right, well, why the fuck you don't treat me like you treat your manager? He a whole asshole to you. You ain't flashed out once. But just let me even look like I don't agree with what the fuck you saying. Next thing you know, I got a gash across my fucking ass. You ain't paying no bills. So me being your child ain't enough reason for you to treat me how you treat your dick manager. And I guess I'm the world's worst parent now, huh? I mean, this shit, that shit. I ain't say all that, but shit. Every time your little friends come in the house, they speak to me. Hey, Miss Tasha. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. How come they treat me better than you do? You ain't got nothing to say? I want you to go knock one of they fucking teeth out like you did me. Then see what they got to say. <laughs> nah, mom, it wasn't me. That was fucking Luke. You gonna whoop all of us. Bitch, what the fuck wrong with you? I kill you in your damn sleep, you ugly ass hoe. I'm disrespectful. And you think whooping my ass because you can't get to the bottom of some shit. That's respectful. That's how the fuck are. That's the type of grown person you want me to be when I grow up. Really? Alright. Alright, so what the fuck that got to do with anything? It's just because we always hanging together. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? Alright, sleep, bitch. Sleep. Don't worry. Don't you worry about shit. Today I'm going to be teaching you some shit about lightning that you might know already. But you ain't heard me say the shit. Let's get into it. It's two parts to a lightning strike. The first strike hit the ground at like 200,000 miles a fucking hour. That'll burn the half your ass for sure. The second strike comes back up from the ground back to the sky at a thousand times that speed. But all this shit happens so fucking fast that you think it's one thing. I feel bad for everybody living in this city. But anyway, the typical lightning strike can reach temperatures above 50,000 degrees. That's five times fucking hotter than the surface of the sun. If it hits you, survival is minimal. If you think lightning don't strike the same place twice, don't get blue the fuck up. Lightning is most definitely known to strike the same tall, isolated structures more than one time. This is a tree that was struck by lightning. This could be you. Thunder is just the sound of the superheated air around a lightning bolt expanding at the speed of sound. When lightning makes the air clap her ass, that's what it sound like. Lightning can be 200 miles fucking long. Don't fuck with nature, cuz. I'm finna tell you where the fuck baby stars come from. These is the pillars of creation. <laughs> Big ass clouds of dust trillions of miles big get together and it get heavy. All that pressure make the shit implode on itself and the middle get hot as fuck. That shit make a core, the core boiling hot. Elements get pushed together under all that pressure to make new elements and that make a nuclear explosion. It's called fusion. But since all that pressure holding it down, them nukes just keep going off. Back to back nuclear explosions trapped by pressure. Now you got a baby star and the bombs going off forever for billions of years. I fucked up in my math in the last video so I'ma fix it in this one. The pillars of creation is 7,000 light years away from Earth. Meaning that if you was traveling at the speed of light going there, you'll be gone 7,000 years to your friends and family up on this bitch. <laughs> These motherfuckers is 5 light years wide and 10 light years tall. <sighs> hey, no. If you was moving at the speed of light, it'd take you about 5 years to go across that motherfucker and 10 years to go up that bitch. Y'all like real shit. It'd take you 5 years to go from here to here and 10 years to go from here to here. That shit crazy. These motherfuckers might not exist, class. <laughs> they might not even exist no more because the light from them bitches gotta travel 7,000 years to get to us. So them motherfuckers could have been gone. We just ain't gonna see it until the light trail is gone. Now for the mind fuck. At the top at the top speed humans have ever traveled. We did only went 24,791 miles an hour in space. That's why I had fucked up. At that speed in space without ever stopping, it'll take you 193,263,000 years just to get there. You're gonna be just like Buddy right here. So happy. Look, look at all that. 
the joy on him. It'll take you 387 million years to go there and back at human speed. 267,090 years to go up that motherfucker to the very top when you get there. 138,045 years to go from left to right in that bitch when you get there. And if you had a vacation in mind, like you gonna go there, you go from the left to the right, and then go from there up to the top and then back home, then your friends and family will see you in 387,456,135 years. But if you moving at the speed of light, they'll see you in 14,015 years. Now, if you want me to make a new set of videos talking about black holes and falling in them bitches and seeing them bitches and shit. Then put a chicken leg in the comments, my boy. And to everybody who ordered a Coke 22 Benny around Christmas last year, if you didn't get your shit yet, 56 orders got lost in the fucking mail. So if it been months since you ordered your shit and you still ain't got it, go to 22gang.com and email me. I will gladly get you your refund. They lost $1,200 worth of my shit, but it's good. And if you want to order a Benny, the website is in my bio, bitch. <laughs> got a lot of Coke 22 shit on there. I'm out, though, bitch. <laughs> this is what's going to happen to you if you fall in Neptune. Atmosphere on that bitch is made out of water, fucking methane, and the family favorite, ammonia. So you fucking dead out the gate pretty much. Why you falling the wind blowing 6.4 million feet an hour? It's two times the speed of sound, bitch. Left to right, shit. I ain't never seen a person as happy as you gonna be. The temperature gonna go from below zero to like 477 degrees hot. <laughs> After falling for 621 miles, you're going to hit an ocean full of fucking water, slushy shit, methane. Oh, did the whole fall stink like ass, too? And you got about as much light as a full moon on a clear sky. Oh, and the ocean 10,874 miles deep. Gravity not done with you. But it ain't all bad news. While you falling 10,000 feet, it's a 1,400 degrees on your ass. Then you're going to hit the core with your 7,000 degrees. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is what's going to happen if you fall into Jupiter. <laughs> You would die. 186,000 miles away from the planet due to radiation. But let's say you made it. As soon as you hit the surface, bitch, you ever heard of Mach 2? You gonna be falling at Mach 146. Not lying. Then shortly after that, you gonna hit the ammonia clouds. You feel me? It's gonna smell like pure shit and be 155 degrees below zero. Okay, and now you start falling for real. You gonna be instantly spinning twice as fast as Earth. 318 miles in is black. Your best friend gonna be lightning strikes and 14,000 pounds of pressure on your back ass. 15 hours in is 5,000 degrees and 28 million pounds of pressure on your back ass. If you're still alive and you make it through the metallic hydrogen possibly, you're gonna be stuck on the core that motherfucker by 40 million pounds of pressure. <laughs> Put a goat in the comments if you wanna learn about the planet that rain fucking glass. And y'all go subscribe to my YouTube channel, bitch. I'm out. Drivers are ditching their car insurance and getting that bitch impounded. Stop showing me that shit. Lost and I can't find nobody you. Hey, run that back. Lost and I can't find nobody you nigga. Hey, run that back. Lost and I can't find nobody you nigga when looking at shit. Hey, I fucked up. Run that back. Lost and I can't find nobody you nigga when looking and shit me I one like day you. I got hungry no, so I started cooking up. I'm the best I fuck a rookie been in my mouth I done wrote up some cookies I'm finna turn right. up till I get me a Grammy Step on their neck so them boys cannot stand me I feel I'm the one that's gon' feed the family I'm focused on play, hey, I don't need Lost and I can't find nobody you nigga when Lost and I can't find nobody you nigga when Lost and I can't find nobody you nigga The pillars of creation. I know you